this is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of women in the truth movement. Now just a heads up, I'm not some social justice warrior or some feminist. So you're not going to hear myth like women get paid less than men because that was been debunked countless times. No, what I'm going to be talking about is how the government targets women. For starters, women are the foundation of the family household. They keep everything intact. Of course the system is going to push propaganda on women, so they will depend more on Big Brother and less on the family. Turn on the TV for a minute. What do you see? Shows like Kings and Queens or Everybody Loves Raymond where you have a man who is fat and stupid and knows nothing at all. The woman is smart, takes care of everything, sassy, and just controls everything. The system wants to push this propaganda to break the family apart, all on the guides of women being independent, and put in the women's head that they don't need family or a husband, that they can just do it all on their own. This is not a new concept at all. This is the same propaganda the Soviet Union used. The idea behind breaking down the family was the women without husbands could be socialized more easily. This meant men were free to leave their wives and abandon their responsibilities, making women wards of the state. During the Russian Civil War, 90% of female dominant population of now St. Petersburg, the capital of Russia, was dependent on state handouts. The Bolshevik Revolution believed that communism was to eliminate the need of the families. The country, after all, would become one whole family. Those who just wanted to look out of their own child were called selfish. Women should, they think women should see all children as their own duties. This made it easier to force wives and mothers into factories and gave rise to daycare centers, community meals, even community laundries and clothing repair centers. And do you think this isn't going to happen today? Let's take a look at this clip where an MSNBC host, Melissa Harris, says that kids don't belong to you, but they belong to the state. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. In conclusion, women are so important to society and the family unit, and that is why the system is pushing propaganda on women the hardest. Pushing propaganda like abortion, saying that it's a woman's right to choose. In reality, the system can care less about women or their rights. They are pushing propaganda, saying that the kids don't belong to you, but belong to the state, because they are simply trying to detach women from their children, making it seem okay and morally right to kill their unborn child because it's her right to choose. Pushing propaganda on women through TV shows, making all men out to be like Homer Simpson, that all men are stupid and make women feel that they can do it all on their own. Well, not all all on their own, but with Big Brother's help, of course. Without women, the family infrastructure fails. Without women, we would not have a functioning society. This is James Hendricks with The Black Sheep Report. Subscribe if you're new. Links are below. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Our page is Media on 9-11. Thank you.